Hi, I'm Tracy and I'm here to share the recipe for dumplings with you. All you need here, 3 cups flour, 2 teaspoon baking powder, 1 teaspoon salt, half cup butter, half cup milk, and oil for frying. It's really simple, just watch and you will learn how simple it is. Okay, we're going to prepare the dumplings now. First you need to sieve in the flour in a container. Throw it in a strainer. If you don't want to do this, you can use a spoon to help you, but it's quite faster to sit it this way. Okay. Now you can add your salt. Add the baking powder. Stir it in. We're going to add our butter. Note that the butter is already cubed to handle the um better. Now what we're gonna do we use our finger and fill it in the butter in the flour. Now you're going to continue this until it resembles bread clump. So you here you go, your finger movement there. Squash it in the flour. Feels so good. Okay, this is what the mixture looks like. See, it goes down with breadcrumbs. I'm sure that you have no clumps left. Now we're going to have the milk. It's really important that you have the milk really slow. If you had it quickly, then the dough wouldn't bind properly. So, you just have a little tip. Work it in. And we'll have a little more milk. Or a tin until it becomes a smooth dough. Here's what the dough looks like after you bind all ingredients together. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pinch off pieces and roll it up. There you go. Just roll it in a ball. To roll it in the ball, you're going to put it down and flatten it out. So you just can use your finger to flatten it up. Your hand. Flatten it up like that with your fingers. Do that with your hand when you put it on. There, that's what it looks like. Remember, roll it up. Okay, you need some nice sheets, so it's really important that you roll them up first. Okay, flatten them with your fingers or put them down and use your hands and flatten them. Anywhere you wish to do it. It's up to you. If you want to make different shapes with them, fine, you can do that. Okay, after you put the water on to boil, throw a little salt in. Right? And then you put in the flour. There it is. Put in your dumpling. And um, you leave that until 15 minutes. And I'm sh I assure you, it's ready. 15 minutes. You cover your pot and time yourself. You can go back and check each time if you wish, but it is always ready in 15 minutes. After it's cooked for 15 minutes, I want you to take it off the fire and you can it out and the sieve to dry. After you 
you do this, we'll just put it in a container. When the dumplings are drained, you do you put them on the plate, ready to serve. They could serve with ackee and saltfish, curry, chicken, curry goat, mackerel, anything you wish to serve it with. Okay, we're going to fry some dumplings. But before we could fry the dumplings, we put some oil on to eat. After the oil is heated, we prick the flour with a fork. And what this will do, it will help the dumplings to fry easily. So the oil will seep easy through the dumplings. You place them in. Careful how you place them because the oil is really hot. Really hot oil. Oops. Okay. There they are. There you go. Be careful not to go near because the oil is really hot. So you stay a bit, a minute from there. If you notice, the oil is popping through. These are already five minutes time. Really simple. Just leave them there in five minutes. You can check up on them now and then. Okay, when the dumplings are ready, put them on paper towel to get the excess oil out. See how lovely they look? They're really delicious as well. You can have them just like this. You don't have to eat it with anything. You can put have it with butter if you wish. Okay, so you just leave it to drain. Okay, after the fried dumplings are drained and the excess oil are drained off, it's ready to serve. So you put it on a platter. This can be served with anything of your choice. It can also be served with butter. The, the melt of the butter on it, when it is really hot, the butter just melts. It tastes really good. There you go.